let's see what an integration between Cisco, Google, and UiPath might look like in the context of a contact center solution. We're going to start over here in WebEx Teams where a simple chatbot will represent the front end to a contact center. It will accept some user directives, gather a few more details, and then pass that information over to a UiPath robot, which is running in a VM on Google Cloud. It will then interact with an ERP system and execute the desired process. So let's run through this real quick so you can see it in action. And then afterwards, we'll slow it down and take a look at what's actually happening under the hood. So to start, I'm going to ask our bot to run an invoice. It'll ask for the ID, we'll give it a number, and then as soon as it contacts the UiPath robot, we'll get a response back. There we go, processing invoice. So over here, the robot is bringing up that invoice. It's scraping some information out of the PDF, and it's going to enter that into our ERP system. You can see it's scraped out individual fields and is able to match them correctly within the system. Now it's going to mark that work item as having been completed. And once it does this, it's free to operate on another invoice. So that all happened fairly quickly. Let's slow down and see what just went on. To start, I created a simple bot in WebEx Teams that has dialogue flow on the back end. It operates on the run invoice intent, which is triggered by this simple invocation phrase, run my invoice. It then grabs the ID of that invoice and passes along some extra information so our UiPath robot knows which process to execute. How does it do this? It sends it through our connectors platform built on Node Red, enters here, saves the context of that call in case we have multiple calls at the same time, we'll know which one we're operating on. It then sends that process and the ID along to the robot. If anything goes wrong, we send an error back to Dialogflow. Then the robot comes up. It's just operating here in a Windows VM in the cloud. As soon as it starts up, it calls back and sends a response that it's operating on the indicated invoice. And that's what we saw here. So out of the box, you have a full feedback loop between the two bots. Then when it's done, uh, it is available to process more directives. So this was just one example of a single intent in dialogue flow that can be processed, but all it takes is fleshing out the dialogue flow training data, and then you have a complete contact center. Thanks for watching.